let's look at um, one of the basic, thing, basic things that we do in ArcMap. And that's to pull a data set in and then symbolize it, change uh, the colors to show us one of the uh, information about one of the underlying uh, pieces of data or information that's stored in an attribute table. So he here I've brought in, um, I've got a state's boundary file, and I've got a, a crime database that I've downloaded from the National Atlas. And by default, ARC just shows every polygon is the same color. So uh, i got county boundaries here, absolutely no information about crime. So I want to take some of the information that's in that crime data set and, and turn that information, those numbers, into colors so that I can start to see patterns. <clears throat> so a basic uh, chloropleth map. So I'm going to start off by looking at the attribute table and seeing what information exists in this data set. And if I scroll to the right here, I see that I've got a whole bunch of different attributes that I could potentially use. Uh, things that I can guess from the names, what they might be, murder, uh, robbery, assassinations, burglary, all kinds of wonderful stuff here. Um, but I've got some numbers up here. If I keep going, I see that some of these kind of repeat. Uh, so it may not be clear right off the bat which attribute I need to use in a data set. And really the only way to figure that out is to look back at the metadata and find out uh, which of these uh, is meaningful. Um, so I, I've looked through the metadata and I've decided that I'm going to show arsons. And I'm using a, a, a normalized value. That means it's been divided by the number of people that live in that area. Uh, so you have to think about what makes sense to actually symbolize. So I'm going to use uh, arsons per person uh, from 2002, this last column. So that's what I've decided to symbolize. I've got these minus 999 values, which means no data. I'll have to figure out how to deal with that in a moment. Uh, so I'm going to close my table. And I'm going to right click on crimes. Again, most of the things that you're going to do in ARC, a lot of them are hidden in that right mouse button. It kind of is, the th you think, what can I do with what's that feature there? If I right click, that's everything I can do with uh, this shape file, this feature class. I'm going to go to properties. And then I've got a whole bunch of things I could do with that layer. And I'm interested in this symbology tab. Now, over here on the left, I've got different options for how I could symbolize that. I've got a, a a quantity. Um, we talk about different data scales. This is a, a, a ratio data scale. So I'm going to have a, a quantity that I'm going to use. And a basic chloropleth map is almost always this graduated colors. Uh, so I'm going to go, I'm going to pick a value, a field that I'm going to use. That's what this value is. I'm going to go down my arsons per person. It's asking me if I want to normalize it. It's already normalized by population, so I don't need to normalize by anything there. And then which colors uh, gradient I'm going to use. And since I have fire here, uh, and I like that default, that default is actually pretty good. Now we'll talk later about different classification techniques. Um, for right now, uh, we're OK with the natural break breaks, except for we've got this minus 999. It's a no data that I need to get rid of. Uh, so I'm going to go to into classify here. And data exclu exclusions, I'm going to exclude one value. I'm going to exclude where uh, arsons equal minus 999. All right, so that's going to take that out of my classification. Say OK. And now I get numbers that uh, are based upon the, the values that are real and not that fake number. All right, say OK. And now I get a map of showing where arsons are particularly high. and. Uh, uh, there's some interesting patterns here, some high areas and some rural places of the country uh, and some out west that we might be concerned about. All right, so that's how we would symbolize that in order to show an underlying value. And I could see, I, I don't have those 999s, but I've got some gaps here in Illinois, um, in Kentucky, where I guess they didn't report on that data. All right, so that's your basics of symbolizing. I suggest you go in and play with different options here use different graduated symbols, proportional symbols, and different ways of symbolizing this besides a core plus map. Good luck.